Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to use the local history in Android Studio to reverse changes in code and even completely restore deleted files. For this I've opened one of my projects and I'm just gonna add some code. Gonna add a variable, private int, test int, and I'm gonna delete some code here. And now let's say we want to reverse our project to the previous state. So we can right click somewhere in the editor and go to local history and click here on show history which opens this window. And this shows the history for this particular Java class, which we just changed. On the left side, we can see history of previous changes together with the date and the time. As you can see, our last change was moments ago, but we also have changes from a few days ago. And here on the right side, we have this side-by-side -side viewer. On the top here, you have some settings with which you can play around. And in the left window, we see the previous state and the current state is on the right. And now here in the comparisons, we can see what we changed. Here in green, we can see the integer variable we added. And if we want to reverse this, we can click on this icon here and it gets deleted in real time. We can do the same for code that we deleted. If we want to re-add this part here, click this icon as well and it is reversed. But instead of reversing this line by line, we can also right click on a previous state and click on revert. This will completely revert to this state of this particular snapshot. When we click this, we will see that our whole file here is now empty. Because this is the history state we reverse to. Instead of right clicking in the editor, we can also right click on this particular file and go here to local history, show history. And as you can see, even for our reversion to the previous state, it created another snapshot. So we can reverse this as well. And we have our previous state. Instead of displaying changes for the whole file, we can also right click on a field, go to local history, show history for field. And here we can see the history only for this particular variable. And we can do the same for methods. Local history, show history for method. And we can also select a block of code like this and show the history for this particular selection. And this also works for whole directories. So we can right click on our package, again go to local history, and see the history for this whole package and all the classes it contains. And we can do the same for the whole app folder, where we see the history for basically our whole project. And here we can also reverse deleted files. So when I delete this view page adapter, for example, and then go into history, we see this deletion here as an entry. We can revert this and our file is back. And this way we can also revert external changes if we deleted the file on our PC outside of Android Studio. Now let's once again take a look into our complete local history. And here we see our changes in form of complete files, because this is the history for our whole project. And if we want to see the history in detail, we can double click on a file and have our detailed code view. You can also get a summary of previous changes by clicking on view and recent changes. And then you get this view here. You can click on a change and see the more detailed view. And we can also add labels for this history. For this we right click on it again, local history and click on put label. And here we can define a label for a milestone. For example, remember me. Click OK. And now when we take a look in the history, we see our label here and this way we can mark milestones to make the navigation through the history easier. By default, this saves the history of five working days. Working days means it only counts the days on which you actually make changes to your project. If you want to change this value, you can press Ctrl Shift A on Windows. And I think on Mac it should be Command Shift A. And here we have to search for registry and double click on this entry here with the three periods. And without selecting something, we type in days to keep. And we get to this entry here, local history dot days to keep. And here we can change this value from five to any other value. If you want to disable this functionality completely, then you can set this value to zero. But I'm gonna keep it at five. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more Android tutorials and Android Studio tips and tricks. Take care.